Hello students. Today we gonna start with the class 10 mathematics chapter number 14 that is statistics. It is very important as well as basic chapter which is totally based on the formulas. You just need to remember the formulas and basic concepts uh, so that you can easily solve the questions. Okay, so let's start with the basics of statistics. Today we are going to see some basic topics uh, that you have already learnt in the previous class 9. So, Let's just distinguish the types of data. That is usually given in the question. Okay. So first is raw data. It is also called as discrete data. Or it is also called as ungrouped data okay so raw data uh, we we are not going to define just we are going to see the example that raw data is given in the form like this uh, 5 7 9 8 and you are just asked to find out the measure of central tendency that is mean median or mode that is the only thing that you need to calculate at the moment secondly the type of data which is given is row data with frequency yes row data with frequency is given generally so in that type of question they are going to give you the row data that is let's say for an example that uh, 5 marks test is conducted 5 marks class test let's say and uh, These are the possible number of marks that a student can obtain in the class test. Let's say in a class there are 30 students, right? So let's consider the frequency. So it's been 30 students, okay? So 30 students are there in the class. So this type of data is given in the question. Then you can calculate the mean for this kind mean median or mode for this kind of data using the formulas the third type of data that is grouped data with frequency now say in group data they will give you the class okay uh, let's say for an example 50 marks test is conducted uh, for the given number of students let's say 30 students we are going to take so let's say we distribute the marks into the class whenever larger data is given then we to simplify the data we use the class so that type of data is called group data okay let's say for an example the frequency for the corresponding data is like this this frequency means uh, students who are scored who have scored uh, 0 to 10 marks so there are five number of such students students those who have scored 10 to 20 marks so seven such students are there so this kind of data is called group data with frequency another basic thing that you need to remember is uh, that is class mark it is again a very important term class mark generally it is denoted using xi class mark is denoted using xi that is also for the symbol of row data now for the group data how you can calculate the class mark class mark is actually the mid value of a given class it is actually the mid value of a given class that is called as class mark okay the formula for the class mark is 
upper limit plus lower limit by 2. It is simple equation that simply means the mid value average of the upper limit and lower limit. For an example if 80 to 90 the class is given to you and if you need to calculate the class mark you just need to take out the average of this two and that will gonna be 85 okay so this is the simple formula we are going to use this in the group data so we have covered this one now let's see the another important term that is class length according to the NCRT the class length is denoted using small h okay so notation for the class length is h now let's say for an example it is uh, just a difference between the upper limit and the lower limit let's say for an example the class is given 80 to 85 so what will be the corresponding class length for this kind of data it is simply 5 this difference between these two value so this is known as class length for the given values okay now we have already learned how to calculate the measure of central tendency for row data and row data with frequency in the previous class we haven't uh, seen this kind of thing up till now so that thing you are going to learn in class 10 so how to calculate the mean median and mode for the group data with frequency so this type of data will go <coughs> will be given in the uh, class 10 so now let's see the formula to calculate the group data uh, mean for the group data okay okay now let's revise the formulas for the class 9 and then we're gonna see the formulas for the class 10 now We need to calculate, we'll uh, start with the mean, the basic topic. Okay. So mean is denoted by x bar. Mean is also called as average. Mean is simply means average. So when only row data is given, then how can you calculate the mean? We already seen this formula sigma xi by n where sigma means summation sigma means summation and n means total number of observation in this case total number of observations so you just need to carry out the sum of all the observation and divide the number of observation you can easily calculate the mean for this kind of data now secondly we will see row data with frequency when row data with frequency when see this kind of data is given when this kind of data is given then how can you calculate the mean for the same so formula for such case is sigma fi xi upon sigma fi where sigma fi means total frequency you just need to carry out the sum of all the uh, values given in the fi see here we have considered the total 30 students so 30 is the sigma fi for this value okay you can also denote it as small n okay also you can calculate mean in this type of data using a plus sigma fi di upon n now what is a you might have learned this topic in the previous class that is assumed mean and this di is deviation di is called deviation so di is equal to xi minus a so it is very important equation now we have seen both these formulas in class 9 we have already learned this topics in previous class so now let's just check that how we can calculate how we can calculate the mean 
when grouped data with frequency is given. Now how we can calculate the mean when group data with frequency is given. So in class 10 there are three methods to calculate mean for such kind of data. The first method is direct method. The first method is direct method. Okay. So formula to calculate the mean using direct method is x bar is equal to sigma fi xi upon sigma fi. You can also write it like this sigma fi xi by n where xi is equal to class mark. xi is equal to class mark. Class mark means nothing. It's just the mid value. So we have seen what is class mark that is the mid value of the given class and sigma fi that is equal to n so we can write it as total frequency. Now the second method is assumed mean method. The second method is assumed mean method. Okay. The formula to calculate the mean using this method is x bar is equal to a plus sigma fi di upon sigma fi. You can also write n over here. Okay. Now here a is equal to assumed mean. You can consider the assumed mean okay, in the given data in the corresponding values of xi and di is equal to that is we have written over here that is deviation deviation from assumed mean the so formula to calculate the di is xi minus a the formula will remain same okay also you can write sigma fi that is total frequency the third method it is very easy and important method as well step deviation method third one is step deviation method now to calculate the mean the formula for the step deviation method is a plus sigma fi ui upon sigma fi into h it is very easy to remember you just need to substitute <coughs> ui over the di and you need to multiply it with h. Here a will remain same that is assumed mean. Now here ui is also called as deviation but formula for the di ui will remain uh, will change that will be xi minus a upon h. Remember this is formula it can be asked in the one mark question okay now you can also write sigma fi is equal to n which is called total frequency and h is equal to class length so we have seen what is class mark what is class length already okay so we have covered two topics in this lecture uh, the first one is basic uh, for the statistics and secondly we have seen the three methods to calculate the mean of group data when frequency is given okay so those three methods are direct method assumed mean method and step deviation method just remember these three formulas they are very important you need to calculate the mean using these three formulas So remember this three important equation. Okay. See you in the next lecture. Thanks a lot.